Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I give him glory and I give him honor. Hallelujah. You know, God is so funny, you guys. And um, I, I got dressed, getting ready for bed, just to be honest with you. And he put something in my spirit. So I have to get up on here and do it like he says. And it was powerful. It started out today. And I'm just going to go ahead and be very transparent. I was having a discussion today about somebody. And the person said, well... Oh, they're blah, 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 blah. And at first, you know, they were right. They were right. They were blah, blah, blah. And then, now this was several hours ago. Then all of a sudden, just now God spoke to me, said, Deanna, why do you think Jesus came to earth? He said he came to save the lost. He said, but why do you think some of those stories is in the Bible? He says, because I was trying to teach my people, the true church, what they should do and how they should do it. I'm going somewhere. Just walk with me. It's going to be powerful. Go ahead and share now. I'm not kidding. I feel the power of God. It got on me so strong. Um, I said, okay, Lord, I would get up on here and I would do what you said. Point blank in the story. So I must try to slow myself down because when you're under anointing, it's like miles, what, eight, 18 miles. I'm talking about 1,000 miles per hour. So let's just go slow for a moment. King James Bible. This is Acts 9, 4. And he fell to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what God was saying. So, but basically, let me also go to this other scripture here and read it too. He said, Acts 9 tells the story of a third person narrative as he neared Damascus on his journey. Suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice said to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. He replied. All right. So let me tell you why I'm saying this tonight. God told me, and he even used my life. He said, Deanna, do you remember when you were out there doing all those bad things when you were young? And, you know, I don't like that part. I don't think any of us like our past. Let's be honest, especially if you have a past like mine, very tainted, very disobedient, very rebellious. He said, but hold on. He said, don't you understand you liking it to Saul, Saul? Why do thou prosecute me? Come on, somebody walk with me tonight. He said, well, even though everybody had counted you out, they said, even my family, and I'm not trying to throw stones. I'm just, I'm ministering tonight. And they still talk about me. Let's be, let's truth be told, but let's talk about this. He said, but they never saw what I had in you. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you got to see what God sees in a person. You throw away Christians. You throw away too many people. God says, uh, the church been doing it for years. We've been doing it for years. I'm gonna put myself up in there too. Oh, they ain't nothing. They ain't gonna be nothing. Oh, come on somebody. A lot of them said that about me. But look at me today. I'm not gloating. I'm not glorifying myself. But I'm telling you what the power of God to do. Don't call people out. We have a prideful, prideful church. Oh, come on, somebody. A proudful people. Just because you have a little bit more than somebody else. Or maybe you're a little bit more educated. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God says tonight. Don't count people out. Don't throw them away. Because he said, I take the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Oh, I'm talking about somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Who have you tossed aside lately? Who have you said wasn't going to be nothing lately? Who have you just, oh, come on, somebody thrown away. God said we are to restore our brother and sister. The Bible says that bless he that restored his brother and sister. I'm paraphrasing. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's all Jesus did while he was on this earth. Oh, come on, somebody. The woman by the well, Mary Magdalene. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The prostitute. Everybody he came in contact with, he restored. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I'm on one. He restored them. He didn't talk about them. Now, hold on. It's different when it's a dust said the Lord. I got to say what God says to say. But for the most part, even I had to learn this. Yes, people do bad things. They say bad things. But we are not to throw each other away unless they are just not. Is such thing as too far gone? Is it? Is it a such thing? Because God can restore. He wanted me also to read about. Do you remember the man, the demon possessed man? Oh, come on, somebody by the tomb. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Mark 5. 5, 1 through 20. I may not read it all, but you're going to get the point. Verse 5. They went across the lake to the region of Gesserinus. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs. Notice this. 
And no one could bring bind him anymore, not even with a chain, for he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons off his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills would he cry out and cut himself. They are crying out. Everybody that you ever threw away, all them times that you say, oh, the children are bad. This person is this. That person is that. Don't you understand that they are crying out? And how come that we don't have a search? I always said, how come? I sure did. How is it? For, for you people that want to uh, probably go, you know, her grammar or whatever. How is it that we have a holy church, a holy Bible, and supposed to possess the Holy Spirit, which is a person, and, and we don't know how to free people? Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue reading. You're going to get the point. Verse 6. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. Don't you know they are subject to us? Luke 10, 19. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to keep on going. Y'all going to get it. He shouted at the top of his voice. Why do you want with me, Jesus? What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? Demons know who we are. In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus said unto him, come out of this man, you impure spirit. Oh, oh. There it goes. There it goes. Then Jesus asked him, what is your name? My name is Legion. He replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with this. We have a church that will talk about you. That will ridicule you, that will ostracize you, but they won't pray for you. They won't labor for you. Do you remember back in the day when they were really oh, on fire for God? We'd have those prayer shut-ins. And let me tell you something. We had church testifying time. And if you testified and you had a demon, they would labor all night. They would cry all night until you got delivered. Hallelujah. We have a church that's not doing that these days. Oh, come on, somebody. And tell you the truth, people are crying out. Those young kids that's killing, they're crying out. Those people that y'all call mental, which is a spirit. I wish I quit lying before God. Everything that is not of God is a spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, let's just be real. Everything is a spirit. You're a spirit. The Bible says that we don't even belong on this earth, that we're just visiting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Why do you think we die? The flesh die, but the spirit lives up. The Bible says, who knows your spirit could go up or down? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Y'all sitting up there throwing away people, talking about people. And, and, and this tied in even to last Saturday when I was mistreated at that um, gathering. These women, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to talk about nobody, hurt nobody, but I call it like a T.I. is. They already knew they thought they were better than me. No, I don't, I, I don't talk articulate all the time. I'm not the most intelligent. I ain't never said that. But let me talk to you about that story. Didn't Jesus pick people that were unlearned? Oh, come on, somebody. Talk to me tonight. Didn't he pick 12 disciples that were unlearned? I'm going somewhere. Was himself. He wasn't even learned. As a matter of fact, he says, the man of God have no place to lay his head. I'm going somewhere. Seems like the only time y'all want to listen to somebody is when they have something. Oh, I just said something. As a matter of fact, that's the only time y'all want to sow into somebody when they're already blessed. I just said something or presumably blessed because let me tell you something what I had to learn the hard way. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Oh, I just said something. Every church that got it going on. Yeah, they got it going on on the outside. But are people getting healed and delivered? Or are they towed up? And how you know marriages are towed up. People are towed up. They're sleeping around. They're having babies. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I feel the power of God up in here. And it's not to judge nobody. It's just to in the truth when the church gonna stop playing with God and see that God is trying to get everybody healed delivered and set free for real and the truth should set you free and the only way you can see the truth is by the spirit of God because he says those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth you don't know the spirit and you don't know the truth of God hallelujah to his name stop throwing away people stop throwing away people says the Lord hallelujah love them back to life because truth be told when we was unsaved we did what they did too probably on a worse level oh come on somebody hallelujah i did i ain't gonna lie that's why i have compassion for people now i don't play now i don't play and if you're a demon you're a demon but i do not believe in throwing away anybody that want to be saved that want to be healed that want to be delivered notice i said want to because you gotta want to this man he begged jesus he ran to jesus he said please 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 hallelujah and the truth be told, people are always crying out. But we have a church that's selfish and prideful. You want what you want. You want to do what you want to do. And when God allow it, he allow you want to cry. 
Yeah, I said it because I did it too. I did not become this person because I just wanted to be, oh, so precious to God. I was rebellious. And God said, all right, you want that? I'm going to give you that. And that almost cost my life six times. And that's why I, I, I teach and I preach with so much passion because I know I'm not supposed to be here. It's by the grace and the mercy of God. I'm not all that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The same grace and mercy that God extends to you with your ugly self, with my ugly self, is the same grace and mercy that we have to extend to each other. Stop. Stop murdering people with your spirit and with your tongue, God says. Love each other back to life. Stop that foolishness, said the Lord. Hallelujah. If you don't love them, leave them alone. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all quit talking about people because then, and then if y'all don't like them, y'all want to get a little group together, then you want to ostracize them right there in the church and after church too. Because I'm going here. I feel the power of God. Y'all not going to like me. Y'all not going to like me. Y'all not going to like me, but I got to tell the truth. Not knowing me since I've been here, I've been attacked and mostly by some of y'all people that's talking. So I hope y'all hear this video. Y'all do not know me and yet you judge me. Now you got to eat those words because you thought what you thought and you were wrong. And, and now God is showing you was wrong. You see, don't judge a person. And I'm going here. Don't judge me because I don't have this. Don't judge me because I didn't do this. Don't judge me. Hallelujah. Because you don't know what's inside of me. You don't know how God going to use me. You don't know how he going to bless me. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all need to stop that foolishness. Y'all don't give a person a chance. God gave you a chance. And truth be told, God's still giving you chances. Oh, y'all don't like me tonight. Hmm, hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Love people back to life and stop that foolishness. Stop throwing people away. Somebody prayed for you. Somebody prayed for you through your salvation. Aren't we supposed to pray for them? Isn't that why Jesus came? He said, I've come to save that which was lost. God didn't come to save you with your saved self. I just said something. Because you so saved, ain't nobody else could save you. I just said something. Don't you know every day we got to stay safe every day. God keep me every day. Every day God don't let me make a mistake. And if I do something, let me be man or woman enough to repent and stop hiding and lying. And then when it hits you, you're going to cry. Or you're talking to somebody that didn't been through some stuff that then got whipped by God. Yeah, I'm going to tell the truth up in here tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there acting like y'all don't fear God. You will sooner or later. And if you don't believe me, keep living, honey. Keep living. That's what I say. See, you big and bad when you don't have no respect for God. But you see when he allows certain things. Oh, honey, trust me. You're going to be humble. Hallelujah. You're going to be humble as a pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it. Hallelujah. 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 Whew, I feel the power of God. So I just want to be obedient. Get up on here. Stop throwing people away. Love them back to life. And if you can't do anything, then let God let go and let and send somebody else. You know, the Bible say Paul water and, and one water and one planet. Let God do his job. Your position is to pray for people. Stop being so ugly. Stop being so mean. Stop being so sneaky. Stop being so hateful. You're supposed to have joy, the fruits of the spirit. That's why people don't want to come to church. Y'all yeah, mean. You ain't supposed to be that mean. I thought the world was mean. Are you serious? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.